All winter long, I had a feeling this was going to happen. We'd get to the point where it was nearly spring, and we were all ready for the seasons to change, and then we'd get dumped on. And the day we returned home to western Massachusetts from a trip down south, the blizzard started. We heard rumors of two feet of snow, which seemed like more than we'd had all winter combined. They said it would be wet and heavy and nonstop for two days straight. And they weren't kidding. over, there was destruction everywhere. 20-foot tall snow banks and 5-foot tall banks along the back roads. It finally felt like the winters I remembered when I was little. So we got over three feet of snow in most of the hill towns. Some got even more. Thick, heavy, wet snow and I'm sure there's gonna be some destruction. Although a lot of the snow is already off the branches, but the damage is probably already done. So we're heading to the cabin to check out the damage and spend the night. And I wish we could be snowmobiling in, but Broke had a little incident with the utility sled and gonna go get new parts for it tomorrow. So for now, we're gonna snowshoe in for the first time ever because there's no trail broken yet at all, and the snow is deep, it's gonna be interesting. <laughs> and I just got this cool new sled with Hunter today at an antique store, so. sled keeps tipping over so it's way easier if we just break a little trail first and then go over it taking way more time than anticipated but it's a good workout we're basically doing the trek three times because we got to walk out pound the trail and come back pound it in on the spots we missed and then go out so it is quite the workout but it feels good my shoulder's been a little sore lately, so I haven't been in the gym, so I needed this. <sighs> I'm so excited to have a fire in the cabin, especially after being away for about two weeks. I can't wait to cozy up in there and read and have a little dinner. I thought I heard something in the woods. Really beautiful evening, the sky's pink. I think there's rain coming tomorrow, but enjoy the nice weather while we got it and enjoy the snow that's kind of why we rushed here because who knows if the rain and the warmer temps are just gonna wipe this three feet of snow out quicker than we would like really want a snowmobile on it though it's gonna be incredible no one's been on this yet which i'm surprised by would have been <laughs>
Looks like the cabin's fine from here. I don't see any, there's not too much destruction. There's some down stuff. I think we're gonna get a fire going first and then trudge back and get the sled. Man, it is hard to walk in this. Look at on top of the table. It's just like two and a half feet right there. Looks like this metal trim for the skylight came off right there. Look at the size of this bankman. I mean, it's hard to really tell from here, but that's usually level down there all the way across. It's like three or four feet high from the snow sliding off. This snow is heavy too. Look at the porch. There's three feet of snow on it. <laughs> Good grief. <laughs> I'm level with the top of the porch right now. Normally, that's um, that's up to probably my chin when I stand there. This is nuts. This is the most snow we've had in many, many winters. At once, that is. Whoo! I feel tall. Look at your way down in there. You have to walk down into the porch. I bet in a couple hours, once the cabin warms up, all this stuff is gonna slide. That is gonna make a crash. <laughs> Holy smokes. Can't even see out the bubble window. That is a mountain. That's an avalanche. Wow. Unreal. Look at the sky back there too. Beautiful pink gradient. Let's see if I can turn the power on here. Man, there's not much that looks cozier than that. The glowing windows with the snow. So cozy in there. Whew. I love the snow coming out of that window. That's fantastic. Yeah. Wow. The snow is gonna melt off in not long. Let's see if I can avoid falling into the river, trying to get some fresh water. It's funny because feels like deep, crazy midwinter, but the river's pretty much melted. There's not hardly any ice on it anymore. It kind of looks really cool. There's just snow all over the rocks. It's actually a rare mixture because usually by midwinter, this is just uh, completely white. You don't really even see any water, but since it's so warm, you got the deep, heavy snow mixed with seeing the water. It's a really cool look. Sled. Oh no. Oh, that's exactly what it is. So one of the other things we did tonight was swap out 
the sheets and put in a fresh set from Brooklinen. If you've been watching this channel for any amount of time, you know that I love Brooklinen. I have them in my apartment, I have them here at the cabin, and that's because they're some of the best sheets I've ever slept on. And Brooklinen is offering my viewers a special discount of $20 off an order of $100 or more if you use the code Trout and Coffee. I absolutely love their linen sheets. They are everything I've ever dreamed of. And so I got another color so that now we can mix and match and always have one pair that's clean whenever we need to swap them out. Brooklinen is founded on the philosophy that people deserve simple and beautiful home goods at a fair price. In this bed, we've got their pillows and their comforter. So this entire bed is Brooklinen and it's a cloud. It's such a great experience with Brooklinen. Their website is on point. There's so many different colors you can mix and match, different styles. You can save 25% when you buy a sheet bundle as opposed to buying everything individually. If you're unsure about Brooklinen, you can just read through over 100,000 five-star reviews. Honestly, it feels good to have found a company that you know you can stick with and that you can trust. So hit the link in the video description and use code Trout and Coffee for $20 off your order of $100 or more. And thank you to Brooklinen for sponsoring this video and for supporting this channel. Now back to the story. <laughs> so it's mid-March now. We just got whaled with this big storm. The uppermost part of the mountains, I heard 40 inches. I don't remember snow like this since I was a kid. There, there's 15 foot, 20 foot snow banks in places where they gotta pile it up high. It's pretty cool to see, but we just got back from Florida and I was kind of hoping for spring. And I called it in a couple videos ago that we're probably gonna get slammed in March, and we did. The snow here at the cabin, I've never seen the cabin covered in this much snow. I'm kind of worried that it's crushed a lot of the rhododendrons we had planted and the peach tree got mangled and a lot of the stuff we planted got hit pretty hard with snow and falling brush. It's tough because it takes so many years for that stuff to grow big and to really bloom and then to have a setback like that right before the year where we're gonna be spending a lot of time here is a pretty big bummer. But nothing, not much you can really do. But uh, it's, been, it's been a really nice March so far. In the beginning of March, I went snowmobiling with a couple of buddies, made some new friends through Allie's friends and uh, some guys that live up in the hills that I, I had never met before. And we went snowmobiling two days in a row, which was so much fun. It was the first time I've ever really been snowmobiling just for pleasure, not heading here. And especially with people that know what they're doing, makes all the difference. I, had, I still have that two by four on, on my sled <laughs> from when John and I fixed it, so I couldn't really go too, too hard, but I was keeping up the best I could. And, uh, but in the process, on the second day, I messed up my green sled, the utility sled that we tow the, the actual sled with when we bring all our stuff here. I hit a rock, a hidden rock, and bent the trailing arms and the sh messed up the shock and stuff. So tomorrow, me and one of the guys are heading up north to New Hampshire to get some parts, and we're gonna try and fix that. And then I got some new skis for the Polaris so we can take that two by four ski off. Even though I'll be sad to see it go because it, <laughs> it held up. It really held up, especially with the pie tin on it. Allie and I haven't just ridden for pleasure really ever. We always head here and it's always some kind of disaster. So it'll be really fun just to ride. Like this road hasn't even been touched. Usually there's a lot of tracks here and it's been multiple days since the storm and there's still no tracks. It would be so fun to float through the powder and break the trail. I really want Allie to experience it. Um, so did that, cleared the trails. We got a little bit of snow. It was start. It was getting really desolate and brown. 
And then we finally got snow again right before we headed to Florida. And this was Allie and I's second year going to Florida. We went last year uh, to visit her grandparents. We take the train down and then we rent a nice car and just spend the week in the sun actually getting away. It's our one vacation a year that's actually a vacation. I do, I can't help but film some, uh, but most of it is spent enjoying. Um, last year we rented a yellow Corvette. This year we rented a, like a newer white one that was a little bit upgraded and it was, I love cars, I love all machines. I have a great appreciation for really high-end machines and this is my treat to myself every year. The train ride is so fun. It's such a fun way to travel. We had a little bathroom in our, you get, we rented a tiny room that's like the size of this table and there's a bed up top and then there's two chairs facing each other and then they fold out into a bed. We're on it for like over 30 hours. It's a great opportunity that you wouldn't otherwise get to sit down and just think, write, read, because you're stuck in this little chamber. I worked a bunch on my book I'm working on called Homegrown Creator, uh, my courses, and I, I wrote more on the book John and I are working on called Go Play Outside. So yeah, a lot of fun, fantastic trip. I'll show you, a, I'll do a little segment here and show you, maybe I'll put some 80s music or something to it. Now it's full-blown winter again. But uh, we got rain on the horizon, we got 50 degree days on the horizon. Not sure how long it's gonna last. I'm glad we got to the cabin here just to 
see what it looked like in this huge amount of snow. There's just, it's so heavy on the porch and all the other areas. I'm, I'm a little nervous. Oh yeah, so this morning I went down to Connecticut to visit my good friend Hunter. I'm, d I'm finally putting together the story of the office, my old office, which uh, my friend Mitch and Hunter helped me build. So I'm interviewing them. Did a really cool interview with Hunter. He's got this new studio space in an old axe factory and he, he, his little building is, there's a music studio in it as well. It's just a very cool bohemian spot. And so we did a great little interview there, walked around the town. I bought that L.L. Bean sled that we brought in today. I bought a washing board for Allie this summer. I got a fantastic fly fishing vest. It's seafoam green. It had muddler minnows in the pocket, which are a great fly. So that was a lot of fun. Always love seeing Hunter, one of my best friends. Yeah, I'm gonna be working on that story. I, I gotta go up to New Hampshire tomorrow, get the snowmobile parts, and then the next morning I'm meeting Mitch to interview him about the office. And then I gotta hustle to get that story together. Yeah, but I just kinda wanted to check in with you. Um, been a little bit, been taking you know, going bi-weekly here and there, trying to keep everything balanced because I'm working on so much stuff for Homegrown Creator. I just did the logo. I've been writing the book, um, designing how the classes are going to be organized. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm going to do courses on everything I've learned about cinematography, photography, building a business. Overall, feeling so optimistic about this year. It's already had a decent amount of travel. We've got a couple other trips booked. We've got a fun trip booked with uh, Noah and Kaylee, Ellie and I. Planning a road trip this year. Want to finally go out west again, visit the music producer Dark Pony out in Minnesota. I don't think, I haven't told him yet, so hopefully he's watching this. Um, I want to show Allie the west coast. She's never been so take a nice little road trip in the Trooper. Kind of in this limbo state right now where it's full-blown winter again, but we're dying for spring. But enjoying the snow while we have it. I want to get in as much cross-country skiing and as much snowmobiling as we can before it disappears. Because there's only a week till spring, official spring. And with the temperatures, it's possible that this doesn't last long, this snow. But it's going to take a while for it to melt and the rivers are going to be roaring. we got to take the canoe down the river, John and I. It's such a fun pastime when it's ripping with spring, with spring runoff. Just feeling also very grateful to be able to share this journey and to have people like you connect with it. So thank you for tuning in, genuinely. And uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to end this video but I'd like to show you a little bit more snowmobiling, let you feel what it's gonna be like to ride on this powder. So we'll see what happens. But for now, might play a little guitar, read a little bit, and then get some sleep because we've gotta be up early tomorrow. So talk soon. They say right before something dies, it gets a rush of strength. And though winter hit us with all its might, all you could feel in the air was the power and warmth of spring. That unmistakable excitement of change was afoot.
and though it was possible we'd get more snow before this was all over, the high average temps wouldn't let it stick around. And this could be our last chance to enjoy winter activities until the next cycle. And so I documented as much of the storm as I could for memory's sake, and we took to the trails to savor our last hurrah of winter. daydreamed about our first spring drive to the garden center in Old Blue. This is springtime mud if I ever saw it. And only a few days after the storm, you could already start to see the brown and the melt. Whew. It's frosty today. It's been warm, the kind of slushy melting the snow, but this morning it is cold. At least it feels it after the warmer days. We're heading to the Sugar Shack for the first time this year. So excited. And then afterwards, we've been battling with my old snowmobiles. One of them seems like it's got clutch, clutch issues and the other one, I banged up the trailing arms on a rock. And so we got all new trailing arms and <coughs> some other components, new skis, but it seems like the steering linkage got bent in the rock hit as well. So the boys said they had a plan today to fix it, but it's got about a 30% chance of working. So we'll see how that goes. Because they're riding. 
riding today. It is a gorgeous Sunday. I want to be out there riding too. We went skiing last night, like you probably saw, but it was it was dangerous because it had. I'm sure it was warm and the snow was wet and slushy all day. But by the time we got there, it had frozen over and the trails were not groomed very well. And you, I mean, you couldn't go downhill. You couldn't go anywhere without catching an edge, flying over. It was rough, not fun, even though it looked really beautiful. <laughs> um, but the snowmobiling should be exceptional. With this harder snow, you'll be able to really, really go through the forest. Oh, but I'm just excited for a blueberry pancake and some baked beans at the Sugar Shack. Actually, there's We patiently wait for the earth to come alive and for all our cabin projects to open their doors. I reflect on how memorable this winter was. The endless heavy wet snow, the golden hour cross country skis, meeting new friends and riding hundreds of miles on snowmobiles, and above all, finding balance in life. More time with family, more time for new endeavors, and a solid recharge of the creative batteries. And now, I'm ready for spring and all the stories it will bring.